Good evening and welcome back to Factory Town where I have decided we're going to go back to the old to, to the way that works the way that works um, because I've also realized something that I don't need to necessarily tag many many things so last time I was trying to figure out whether there was a better way to do the train so I don't have to tag things as one drop off and one sale I don't have to multi-tag stuff I did think of a workaround for it, which involves um, tagging trains. Uh, so, like for instance, here we um, we we've got the these are one one drop off and one sale. Now, this should only ever be sale because this should never have a drop off on it anyway. So, it doesn't need the drop off symbol. But uh, yeah, just in case a train comes down here, we have that like that. Um, but what I can do is, excuse me. Um, I could tag a train with a special tag. So we have a train here. Um, uh, this is oh, this this works. This works pretty well. So this is the uh, um, the the train for um, our food. So you see, it's got tags of one tail, four pickup. So it's going to come along here. It's going to come to the four pickup. It's going to come out here. It's going to one tail. I'm this one. Let's go. We could change the one drop off, but also change the filter for the train itself. And what I believe would happen is that it would read the filter for the train and the carriages when it's pushing down here. Although we'd have to tag these with, um, no, we'd have to tag these with the carriages for the train. Um, and then when it comes like here for the drop-offs, it wouldn't come down here because it doesn't match the item filters. I don't think, but I, I'm, not, I'm not entirely sure on it. So basically I'm just gonna leave it as it is. We're gonna tag it with sale and not worry about it. So that's fine. That'd, that'd be fine at all. We really should tag these with one sail as well, just in case the train gets lost. But if a train does get lost, we'll deal with that. We'll deal with it then. then what, what I should do um, is every time we've got a connection, I should have the, the rails come out and have a little bit of space over there. I can't do that here though. So still not 100% sure if I should do this down here or move it to the center and then move these out. Um, just so that I can do stuff like have the the offshoot rail because the uh input for this guy would be here and then the out offshoot rail would come up here and that would technically be in this gap here and the on connection rail would be down here and there's enough space in between there for all these to fit so this connection here would be here somewhere in, in this area here and its tail would end up up here this town will be moved over so all these connections would be here, here which means this would be let's look at it this way the the connection for this town down here would actually be on the left of the town and the town's connection would be to the left of that so the town's connection even though the town's here would be over here somewhere so it would come up and it would come along and connect to the town which is it's a bit you know right now it's here so if we move the town over to here this would be here somewhere, which means this connection should be lined up with these, but we'll stagger it to be this end. So then no stations are ever opposite each other. So we could put the little tails as I'm calling them in. So in case something goes wrong with one of the trains and they end up on the wrong track somewhere, they end up down here and just stop. And then we can visually see something went wrong. Let's fix that train. So that's 90% gonna happen right now. I need to move this one town and this one town, but we haven't built this town yet. So if we're going to commit to that, why don't we do it now? Why don't we do it now? Let's 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 do it right now. So let's purchase well these here. Ah, so yeah, that's a uh, that's a thing. So I turned off the trading sensors in the uh, game uh, settings, but because I had them on when I started the map, yeah, come here. Also, there's a big bit of sand here. We could yeah, that's fine. Uh, but I'm going to um, uh, go to editor. Uh, actually, let's have a quick look at your recipes first before we do anything dramatic like that. No, 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 no. Um, editor, um, edit rules, global rules, creative mode on. Let you and delete you. And editor, edit rules, global rules, off. And it's gone. There we go. Cool. Okay. Don't need to remove those. Might not even need to remove that iron there. Might be useful. We could, we could mine a little bit of iron and stuff. Not really to actually get everything working now, so let's fill in these holes here. Ba -dum -ba -dum -ba -dum. Okay, so if I remove right, let's um copy this footpath. So there. 
that is center point so that wants to be that rail there wants to be there so what i'm going to do is i'm going to put in two like that so i know those two are the slot for those two okay makes sense yeah yeah we could move these over to stagger them so that we can actually get a two gap might it be a two gap there so no we won't do that but that won't work although we've established that center point isn't center point it's a two yeah so doesn't matter doesn't matter so let's remove this for a moment in fact we'll probably want to move all of that there for a moment so let's remove that there let's um yoink this connection out put it down here for a moment it belongs to this town there and let's grab this entire town if i can i don't know if i cannot so i'm gonna start there i'm gonna drag all of that including this all here although that doesn't want to be there but that's fine um no supporting an entity something supporting an entity somewhere ah that's to be this here okay so let's grab the entire town with the exception of um actually see what we'll do we've got the game paused um let's come in here with a new tool it's not a new tool it's an old tool um but there is pick up item and i can oop, and that should pick up all the items on the belt we've got the game paused so nothing's moving so now i should be able to in theory oop, and go move and look at that it lets me move it ah look at that so if i pick this up and move it the game becomes very 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 sort of slow so be very patient with what you're doing with this and we want to put the town there click wait for it there you go always wait for it with the game because it, it, when, when moving lots of things at once um it does lots of calculations under the hood so be very patient with it very very patient with it um, especially if you're moving towns that are full of things so um if, if your computer can't deal with it as well don't forget you can segment things you could take off one corner and move it and another corner and move it and so on and so forth so you've got the options to do that sort of thing so um oh i removed your your thing um let's bring that back so i've got this here um i, I changed these up so these all now one pick up and one sale two pick up two sales so they're all tagged correctly and then i've just got one here for um this reason but i don't know what ones I need to turn on off there but that'd be fine that'd be fine um so you are going to have your entrance be here somewhere between these two and then you're going to have your you actually your entrance will be over that side so that wouldn't matter and then your return will be here um will be here it will come in and go there so your pickup should go out here kind of i mean where it is now would work but i might want to move it over a little bit um how many tiles are we let's see if we can get it centered shall we so um okay there to there is 37 okay what's half 37 my brain's not awake enough for doing that uh 18 and a half so if i go there by 18 i'm looking in the bottom left corner it tells you how many you have Probably you're running in a straight line it tells you exactly how many what distance you're doing so that's 18 if i come from there and i go 18 there so that's the center so that's where i want this to go okay so um i'm gonna have to remove Fair bit you. So let's uh, just copy. I want to copy you with like one bit on either side. Yeah. Okay. So. Doop, 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 doop. Ready? Um. Let me recap this further up. Go away. Go away. 18. There. So if I then grab all of this like that and move it, you know, that's the central point there and we bring it down to line up to that. So boom, like that, there we go. Okay, cool, cool, cool. We've got to do lots of rail fixing. This this is fine, this is fine. Um, and um, we've then got to figure out where we're going to put the, uh, the um, 
fueling stations as well so that's going to be an interesting little uh, thing to do where will we put the fuel stations uh, first of all let me put in uh, this here so I want to make it at least eight long because that's the length of a train so we know if anything goes wrong now the trains come up here that's good let's connect up the tracks that we know are here right now oops don't do that don't do any red crossings because if trains run into each other they might end up on the wrong track we don't want that review um, let's put in this one here oops done again why is that one connected ah that finger syndrome well not straight fingers that's what should stretch non-straight hand syndrome try to drag straight and it never does it um you try and run across and you always end up going down at least for me i always end up going down my, my mouse if i go with a straight line it will do that naturally it will end up coming down because of how i hold the mouse so and it probably happens for most people right so we want to come up here and what i'm going to do is i'm going to say um you are going to come up and be well you're going to come up thank you and you're going to be level with that so there and you're gonna come up and you're gonna be level with the other side of that so there so we're level with the edge of the town here so we're inside the town borders technically uh, that's not right shall we try that again there so that's level with the top of that that's level on that awesome okay i could just turn this around but i'm gonna actually move it we're gonna move it to be there uh one away from the edge there but i'm like that yep like that there we go copy some trees okay remove the resources goodbye 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 um and then we're just going to put that in directly opposite the train and put that in uh there doesn't really matter uh copy that Yep, that copy all the settings. Awesome. Uh, let's just delete all this now. Oof. Uh, let's go underground and delete all that. Uh, oh, no. Wrong one. We want to put in some uh, wells for this guy. I'm going to put them on the opposite side. Um, just because I can. <laughs> just because I can. Um, and then we run it through. And if I don't stop on this one, it won't kill this one. So there's no connection there so these this will fill there this wants to be an output doesn't it Boom. There you go. output output that's just an input awesome job done cool all right and then we just copy these and you will connect to yep you're the down yep so you will connect to that one and you will connect to that one so this is the the down and it crosses the line here and comes down here and then comes back and then that's fine there awesome 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 okie dokie okie dokie right so and then let's grab one of these guys and go page up page up and run a in there because that's high enough for the trains to uh yeah i'll do that put a put a stand in there we could remove these and run them further down do things and do whatever but it's fine um this this works this works this is fine this is fine okay now for you um i suppose i'm going to do the same thing on this side let's go out out by 18 tiles so puts it there okay let's cut away a whole thing in fact uh let's um it doesn't tell me how big of a tile i'm doing so i don't know so right, what do I got here? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Move to there. Um you need to be centered. Ah, didn't do, didn't think that through. Um two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. No. There. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's try that. Move to there. I'm one out. I'm one out. Oh, okay. Okay. Cancel. 
there. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Could have planned that better. Boom, there you go. Okay. Being lazy. Being lazy. Didn't need to be lazy. I could have copy pasted anything over here. Would have been fine. Okay. Um, so that's 18 tiles away from the edge of there. But on, so that's the same gap there. And then you're probably not 18 tiles in here. Let's just find out. Let's just find out for the giggles. Let's come up here. Boom, you are 18 tiles. Awesome. So it, it is because we measured it. Yeah. Awesome. So this is so 18, 18, 18. Obviously, there's nothing on the end there. So that's fine. Um, and then we need to change you because you're going to be over here. So I think I'm going to do this and bring this in to this point here. And then we'll put the thing there for it. So move a bit of rail there. Um, like that. Where is right? Can I go top down, please? Yeah, thank you. There. Doop. Doop. So you connect to that one. You connect to that one. Okay. Um, I have absolutely no idea. Uh, oh, I did it. I've removed the. Oh, so I want to. I want to grab this again. My brain was like, which, which one's which? Which one's So, so this outside one is the input. So that is correct. So we'll come down from there to there, and then we go along from there up to there awesome okay and then we'll do the same here we'll move you to be one there and face down is that what we did yeah so then this this is a carbon copy of this so i could copy this um, and i couldn't rotate it around because obviously it's a it's a flip because you can't flip it but it is so this goes up and along and that's there and this comes down along that's so that'll that'll work that'll work i am happy with that um i also do not remember which way around I was doing these things, so it doesn't matter. Um, I might have 2D mode. Uh, the water was before, and then the two wells were after it. Boom, like that. Anyway, okay. Let's uh, copy that. Doop, doop. I'm holding control when I put it down so it copies all the settings for it as well. And that is done. Then we go underground to our pipe layer and we grab a pipe and we run from this one to that one and this one to that one and then we copy that and paste it there uh, purely because you can't input into a well anyway but I, I just I just like it I just like it saying the same thing in the top right corner it says output I, I prefer that so, okay uh, oh um uh, picture Neil probably control to keep the height high grab that there you 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 and you you can copy resources with uh the pipette tool which is cube on my one i don't know what it is by default i've changed many of the keys in this game so you can copy resources so you can just copy them and then use page up and page down to make the thing bigger and smaller um, and as you do it it tells you exactly what it costs down here in the corner so don't worry about that um and when i'm doing the uh shoot heights and things um if you just have a height and you drag it will drop down but if you hold control it will stay at the right height also um uh, I've explained this before, but I'm going to explain it again. Um, if you use page up and page down to go up and down with a, a thing, so you can, you can use page up and page down to move up and down, and then you try and take it out of a place here, hold control and drag, you'll notice it changes. When you're just there, it's got the arch. If you drag it, it's got the full scaffold block. Can you see that block there? It's got a full scaffold block. Look at that. Full scaffold. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, yeah, it says it can't output water on that. That's fine. Um, however, if you don't want that, if you want the arches, which I always prefer, I always prefer the arches over this here. Um, if you put the arch in first, you'll see me do this. If you go page up, put the arch in first, then hold control and drag out. It will choose whatever base you have you put down first to copy. And it works with any base. You could put down arches, you could put down um, stone ones, you put down cheese ones. Yes, there, there are, there are, um, uh, uh, there's there there are wood stone solid wood solid stone uh, framed wood hedges stone brick brick iron cheese mana fire water earth air um, and then some logic stuff um, so yeah there is um, there there are there are cheese box and they cost cheese to make there are indeed cheese box and if you put a cheese box in the air and then put a shoot on it and drag it out or a belt on it and drag it out holding control it will put cheese underneath the whole thing so you could make a wad of cheese if you really wanted to okay so um where are we going with this uh let's come down here 
do, 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 do. let's look at this guy here so we are coming uh we are returning from here so we want to if we're going this way we have one two five and six one two five and six right and we also have three i think threes no three's quicker that way maybe let's drop off it's difficult to know it's difficult to know they're directly opposite each other three and seven are directly opposite each other um but i think we're gonna go one two five and six so by that i want to go uh this is one so one is going clockwise so one two five and six and then all the rest are going anti-clockwise so we turn on those ones there no problem. i'm leaving them in purely for visual so i know i can see stuff that's going on there um this one however uh it's going to be the same even though it's moved over slightly it's going to be exactly the same um so but um it thinks one is this way because obviously it's one is this way uh, that's a good point actually you are town five five yeah five is that way um so town one is this way you should never have town one come out of this um a, a thing that is doing town one drop off should never come out of this anyway so that's fine but um just in case it needs to uh, also i should really have this both sides uh, copy paste well, I say copy paste. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, with the town moved and everything connected, everything working here, let's actually get some trains and get the damn thing doing the thing we want to do, right? Yeah. Right. Okay. So, this is two pickup, and this wants to be filtered with uh, planks. So, you are going to be planks. Um, I don't think we're doing box stuff. Are we doing box stuff? I can't remember. Does it matter? Uh, no, we're not doing box stuff. I don't think it matters. Um, so, yeah. Bum, 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 down there. So you'll pick up that. That's fine. Okay. Give me a train. Um, there. You should be a hold until full. You are. Excellent. Uh, let's go to box cars. And we're going to add one. Nope. Uh, two, three. Yes, we are. Boom. And we're going to filter the whole train. The whole train just wants to filter on this. We don't care about the boxes, the, the carts. Um, if you um, do want to have a train filter and have different uh, storages in the box carts or the carts behind it, you can come in here and untick this and then it can have its own filter. So it ignores the train one. Um, that can be useful because you could tag the train with something else. Like you could come down here um, and tag the train with um, something something random. So you could tag the train with like depleted fire crystals. So you are the depleted fire train. I'm never going to have depleted fire crystals on my uh, system. So that could indicate um, that you're a sale train, for instance. So you're selling goods. And that's what I was talking about earlier on in the episode where you can tag a train with something different and then tag the carriages. So then that will come along. And, and if it met a depleted fire um uh, drop off it would it would push it down so but I, I think i'm overcomplicating stuff if i did that so i don't want to do that so boom. there you go okay you have no tags uh, so where are we we are owned by town number two so we are a two pickup um and we are a no hang on is that right no that's not right that's not right no 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 no, no. you are owned by the drop offs yeah yeah so you want to be owned by a five drop off and then a two pick up okay so five drop off that's not his well drop five drop off two pick up so you are owned by the that's still not his well drop um you are owned by the first one the, the five drop off and that so yeah but um, it doesn't matter which way around the tags are it's just my brain is like okay you are the right so you are owned by one sale yeah because that's what you're dropping off the sale is to the drop off so that's fine okay Boom. there you go so you have filled up Doop -doop -doop -doop. um so you will skip this one because that's a one drop off um, you will come along here and you will go uh, to here and go five drop off ha ah, so i'll come down here i will get some fuel I will come down here, and I will go down here, and then when we return, we'll come up here. I don't need to put any um, tags here for returns, because it's the same as here. Um, the train can only go one way once it gets there, so yeah. 
Look at that. Two trains in the day. Choo -choo. Bum, 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 bum. Okay, you get fuel, which is nice. Um, that's cool. Yep, you're filling up because of that. Dum, 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 dum. Did I filter this? I did. Excellent. Okay. So now what I want to do is two more trains. Yeah. Yeah, the, train, the track is not broken. Okay, that's cool. Right. So, let us copy this train here. Put it there. Put it there. Um, we don't want planks. You want to be uh, iron. You want to be coal. I was holding control in the vague hope that it might copy the signals. It does not. Um, copy. So you are owned by a five drop off and you want to go to wherever the hell uh oh okay weird um uh stuff is one two three one two three okay. um what's the mining town but name them like mining town um and industry town but then i misspell industry every now and then and some people go type wrong uh three ui three pickup okay copy because it's exactly the same for you paste okay go do 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 boom you'll stop a little bit there boom and the trains all went along Oh, I don't think I'm going to push F. I need, to, I need to unbind that. I need to unbind F. Let's do that right now. And then uh, uh, options, controls. Can I unbind the F key? F key can be useful. Um, I just don't want it to be F. Uh, I want it to be like over there. That'll do. Boom, done, boom. Yeah. So the, um, the resource thing shows resources on the map. So you can see where all the things are. So see, here, here is berries, here is that. So it can be useful. Can be useful for seeing things at a distance where we're going to like, oh, I need to go and pick up corn. There's grain up here. Cool. Okay. But um, every time you enable and disable it, it slows things down. So. Hmm. Right. Is this correct? Is this correct? Is three this way? So the pickup for three is on this side of the track. So that is incorrect. That is incorrect. The pickup is on this side of the track. So technically, three should be that way. Seven should be that way. But three should be the other way. That's okay. That's okay. Okay, we'll just turn that off, turn that one on. Put on. There you go. Boom. Uh, right, so there's no track for this one here. Let's fix that. Bloop. There we go. Okay, they'll go around uh, and they'll get completely stuck. So let's um, switch around. Switch around. Uh, hello. Hmm. Um, right, they need to be on this track as well. Because I haven't built a track, have I? <laughs> I haven't built a track this way either. <laughs> okay, okay, let's build this track. Bloop. Bloop. Um, yeah, of course, cool. so they went down again. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. They went down again because, yeah, because they would have hit this one here first, and that's fine, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Okay, um, and then they are a five return. Which is one, two, three, four, five, which is this track here. Is this track complete? I put that track in. Yes, I didn't put three track in there. Oh, there's no pickup for them here. Okay, let's fix that as well. Um, so one, two, three, four, five. Uh, this one's coming in clockwise. So that way down, that way down, this way, this way, come on, down, that way down. Copy, paste, paste. Copy, paste, paste. Okay, cool. And that should all work. And then we should get crews up here. And then next episode, we can start building things in here. Whoa. Whoa. Progress. Progress. I also need to move this town over here. I will try and do that between episodes. I've been really bad at playing between episodes. Time time is just awful. We need to move this here. Um, I'll probably do that next episode. But there, there we go. Okay, so now our trains are traveling the correct directions and doing the correct things. So everything is absolutely fine. Yep. Do, 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 boop. And it doesn't matter if two trains... Oh, well, if two trains hit each other, it doesn't matter. They'd stop and do things you don't have rail crashes. Phew. But
But thank you very much for watching, everybody. I hope you have enjoyed this one. And I do hope to see you again in the next one. And until then, as always, have fun.